What is up YouTube? This is my comparison video of the Ultra Tauren 5 and the Ultra Urvera 1. This is not a review, I'm just trying to help you choose the right model for you. In my previous video I said this. Ultra used to make the Tauren and the Tauren Plush. Um, a few years ago they came out with the Tauren 4 and the Tauren 4 Plush. The plush is basically the beefier and more cushioned Torin, and the main difference was the stack height. So it was basically just a couple of millimeters extra cushion in the midsole. Then it came with the Torin 4.5 plush. There was no Torin 4.5, just the 4.5 plush. And now they've come out with the Torin 5. The Torin 5 has the same stack height as the 4.5 plush. So what this is looking like is that the Torin plush will be the new Torin. So from now on, there will be no distinction between the Torin and Torin plush, unless they're going to make an even plushier plush. In the future. Now that's not completely true because the Rivera has kind of taken the place of the Torrent and the Torrent 5 has taken the place of the Torrent Plush. So the Rivera has 26 millimeters of stack height like the original Torrent and the Torrent 5 has 28 millimeters of stack height just like the Torrent Plush. Like always Ultra always has zero drop but other than that they're pretty much different shoes. Now, the surprising thing is, although they have a different stack height, it's obviously more rubber in the midsole. The Ultra website says that they are the same weight, which is pretty cool. And the main difference is the midsole. So the Torrent has the all new Ultra Ego Max midsole, which is very, very soft and very, very plush and very, very squishy. The Ego midsole is also soft, but not as soft in my opinion. So another difference is that the, sorry, my shoe is a little bit wet. The uh, Rivera uh, has a little bit more exposed midsole here. And this side you already see, it's, it's already wearing out. So the durability of the Rivera is probably not gonna be that great, but you can already see after a few, after I wanna say 300 kilometers, it's already starting to wear down. The Torren has full, has outsole everywhere. So the wear and tear will be less. And now comes the big discussion about the foot shape toe box. So the Torren has the original foot shape. So nice and wide, so your feet, the toes can splay out nice and wide. There's a lot of wiggle room in there. The Rivera does have a slight foot shaped toe box, but less. In my opinion, it's pretty narrow. Obviously, if you compare it to other big brands, then it's not that narrow. But I already noticed after I go for a longer run, my feet do tend to swell up. So it gets quite snug in there. Whereas with the Torren, I feel my feet get enough wiggle room there. There's not much rubbing going on. And I feel there's a little bit more room in the top. What I also don't particularly like about the Rivera, but that's my own opinion, is the heel. I can't seem to get a good heel lock in there. So I always try to get as tight as possible. My feet, my heels seems to still get quite loose in there. It's a very, it's quite a tough heel counter. Although there is nothing in, in there, it's still a little bit more stiff than the Torren. There's absolutely nothing in there. So no support whatsoever. And I think it's because of the V shape. So you see that the Torren has more of a U shape and the Rivera has the V shape. And as you can see, I use the extra eyelet of the Rivera. And for the Torrent 5, I, I don't need it. I get a good heel lock in there. The main criticism that I have for the uh, Ultra uh, Torrent 5, which I read quite a lot of people are complaining about, is the tongue. The tongue is very stiff. It's not particularly comfortable against the, the front of your ankle. So if you do wear low socks, I read about people complaining about that chafing up against the front of the ankle or even causing the ankle to bleed. I wear higher socks, so I don't have that issue. And I do have the impression it's loosening up a little bit over time, so it needs some time to break in. The Rivera has a very, very plush, very, very thick tongue. Honestly, I think it's even too thick. It doesn't need to be this thick. What is nice is that they're both nice and padded. So there's a lot of padding in there. So they are very, very comfortable to be just wear for long runs. And I also find them both to be quite breathable. So they both have an engineered mesh. The mesh is fairly similar and fairly and nice and breathable. And if you were to ask my personal opinion, I really love the Torrent 5. Um, I already love the Torrent 4.5 plush and I think the 5 is just as great. They are just nice and playful shoes. I like going out in them, running endless miles. I also don't mind going onto the treadmill with them. I feel the cushioning is very, very comfortable. I've not had any kind of injury issues uh, wearing the 4.5 plush and I feel the 5 are just as great. Um, whereas with the Rivera, as I said earlier, my feet tend to swell up. I can't get a good heel lock in them. So uh, I tend to just use them for tempo runs or just some 
as a daily trainer when when my other shoes are drying i use the rivera but the torrent 5 i love wearing them for my long runs so i'll probably be wearing them the majority of the time the criticism i do have about both shoes is i've noticed it's difficult to run quick corners in them both and i think that has something to do with because of the extra width your foot can kind of slide in inside so whenever you take a quick corner it can be that your foot is trying to go faster than the shoe itself i noticed that to be a bigger problem with the torrent 5 compared to the rivera probably because of the extra space inside but i'm not a quick runner and i don't take that many uh, quick corners so that's not such a problem for me but i'm sure but i've read about people having that issue with all other auto shoes as well what i do prefer about the rivera is the price tag the price, I don't know what the current price is, but they are a lot cheaper than the uh, Torrent 5. I feel that they're catering to a lot larger audience that way. So people that don't know Ultra yet, they can try the Rivera and see what, uh, if they actually like the uh, extra space and the zero drop. The Torrent 5 is pretty expensive. And I did buy them with my own money, but I got them on discount and I don't think I would have bought them in full price. Running shoes are, are just getting so ridiculously expensive right now. And I feel that they are kind of at the, at the max that I would actually even go for. I would prefer not to spend full price for them. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, if you have either the shoe, if you love them, if you hate them. I'm really looking forward to hearing all your thoughts and I'm always up to discuss uh, alter shoes. So thank you again for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.